I got like a thousand, a thousand, one twelve memories, like. Uh, it's, it's too awful for me to just, just jump out there and just name one. I, I say, I say one of those, like, everybody who's on the basketball court playing basketball. This nigga, the big old came out of, out of nowhere talking about shake your ass. <laughs> Show me what you're working with. You feel me? Everybody just, everybody just left it off started crying. This nigga ain't even know why that shit was funny. Uh, I can't remember every single award, but I definitely, I definitely, um, I think me and S won best, best, uh, best tag team, duo rappers, basically. I think I won, I, I was nominated for album of the year. I'm not, I'm not sure whether I won it or not. And I, a couple, I, I won a couple awards. I can't, I can't like pinpoint one day and you feel me, like something happened that, that escalate us like getting in the rap beef or whatever. I just guess like I was, I was like the new nigga and I was getting a lot of, you feel me, attention or whatever the case was. I think in all actuality, I think he thought that he was writing for me. You feel me? And he didn't, he didn't respect, he didn't respect my talent. And I was just like on some, like I'm not, gonna be viewed as a little nigga does. You feel me? I'm not I'm not just a new nigga, I'm nice. You feel me? So we just basically went back and forth. I mean niggas we had battles, we had we never like really had no argument, argument type shit. We never we never like got into an altercation, you feel me? But we we did have like a couple heated arguments like Basically, but it was it was more on some rap shit. We never like was beefing with each other like on some I'm gonna catch you and this gonna go down type shit. You feel me? Uh, well, back in the day, you feel me? There was me going to me going to a different level or me doing like my own thing or whatever the case is. I really don't like remember actually how this shit started. But like basically, niggas are doing niggas are doing songs, and he was on songs with us. And you feel me? Was, a lot of a lot of the beef shit that that happened on the twelve was from other niggas hyping shit and and spitting shit in motherfuckers' ears. But I felt like this nigga he was he was on the song with this nigga S. This is me, so I I I, I let something go back to him. That was on the song with Rock. But I never actually, I never actually put the song out though. You feel me? He, 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 he could get his hands on, on, um, any song on the 12, which I didn't know that. But, uh, yeah, he heard the song. He was, he was not feeling it at all. You feel me? And likewise, I wasn't feeling the song with him and us. And we basically had like a period where we wouldn't even talk to each other. But like, that nigga he's my brother. You feel me? And it never it never came it never came to no like like physical shit, but like we definitely wasn't serving each other at that time. Nah, I I wanna I wanna say I had beef with the goons. I had um like Noodles Noodles was my boy too. You feel me? And like he was he was separate from the goons, but he was like the same thing. You feel me? I was also cool with sleep. Uh, um, a couple, a couple of them I was actually cool with. You feel me? And it never, it never got, it never got there. I was, I respected that shit. You feel me? Them niggas, them niggas was terrorizing. Them niggas was terrorizing niggas. You feel me? Like basically, I had a studio session. I don't know whether the nigga came to the studio session or something. Like he was about to do something or whatever. But shit was starting to get heated. You feel me? So when I start walking towards where he was at and we was about to like hash it out, it just so happened to be like police present. You feel me? I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. You feel me? I'm I'm currently on parole. I just got let out. So I'm like, yo. At first he show up at the studio.
feel like, you feel me, there's, there's like some type of problem, then you run around the corner, we start talking about this shit, and then the niggas are standing there. I think Grand Day was, is definitely going to go down as one of the best, one of the best shows, you feel me, that, that the 12 ever had. Yeah, real, we had real stories, we had battles, we had physical, you feel me, all the cases going down. Like, it was, it was what's up. But it definitely was, was ripping a lot of motherfuckers' ass. In all actuality, like, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy for the nigga. Like, in all actuality, like, he's been wanting to do this for, for the longest. And it takes a lot, it takes a lot of heart and, and dedication to go out there and to say, yo, this is what I want to do, and I'm actually going to go for it. And he always been one of those type of people. You know, other people can say, oh, maybe you can't do this, or you know how many people actually make it. He don't give do a fuck about none of that shit. You feel me? He got the, the heart and determination to go for it. You feel me? And I respect that about it. Uh, the situation with the Hall of Fame was uh, funded, like, basically... We had to come together, like the board had to come together and figure out how it was going to be funded. You know, actually, it hasn't been canceled, it's just been pushed back. It's still going to happen. But the, the place was definitely booked, you know what I mean? And, and the practice was made for everybody that was going to be receiving, receiving a practice.